Hello there, folks. Guy Deck for you today for our experimentals. This is something I've been working on for quite some time. That's mono blue vehicles, basically. So I'll give you the source of where this project started and kind of how it's going. <laughs> where, where, yeah, how it started, how it's going. So uh, yeah, how it started, Gear, Gearsmith Prodigy. Uh, plus one plus oh as long as we control artifacts. So this started way back in M19. I figured I'm going to find a way to break this card. And Kaldheim finally shows up years later <laughs> to help finally break this card or at least reasonably broken. So yes, the idea being how do we reliably get it as a two powered creature in a deck that remotely cares that can do things around it, right? So not making it awkward. Okay, so vehicles, yes. Um, Silent Submersible is our first vehicle. Uh, yes, the butt of all jokes and Island Home and Island Walk and all those other things that it fails to have. It just, you know, what are you supposed to do? Like, I don't think you understand how you're supposed to hit an opponent in the face with a Silent Submersible. They're talking about Island Walk, so how you're supposed to hit your opponent. What you do is you drive it really fast over the water and then flatten your opponent when it lands on the ground and you beach it. Now... Surely that would mean that the theme should be that it shouldn't untap during its next uh, untap step. But you know, whatever. <laughs> That's the best I got for you. <laughs> oh, those you are the running butt of all jokes, Silence Immersible. Ah, but Kasima, God of the Voyage, our second blue vehicle, uh, being a 3-3 three, three for crew one, makes it so that it's real easy to work with and just a solid, solid card overall. So we're playing this Kasima in aggro. We're playing it for the Omen Keel. And yes, it is spectacular. So, yeah, just two mana vehicles doing their good statted things. I mean, this is as close to uh, Smuggler's Copter as we're getting. Same thing. As smoked, close to Smuggler's Copter as we're getting. So we're taking the two closest cards going with that. Dogs are barking because reasons. <laughs> just absolute chaos and mayhem here. But... So, yeah, we got we got a couple vehicles here. Kasima's never going to be cast on three. Let's face facts. Um, not very often. So, um, other cards that support. Crewing Creatures, Ascendant Spirit, pumps up. We've got Snow-Covered Lands to assist. Um, just a solid creature. I mean, pay two mana and it can crew anything. Bind the Monster is a bit of removal. Gearsmith Prodigy, obviously the crew. Unsummon is a bit more removal. We're trying to play aggro here, so Bind the Monster and Unsummon are... Just one mana, get out of my way. Um, so after that, we've got Disdainful Stroke for board wipes and, you know, big dumb things that get in the way. Metallic Rebuke because we've got, you know, some synergy with uh, artifacts so we can improvise quite well here. Um, Heraldic Banner to pump the team. Everything's blue, including the vehicles, so no downside there. It is just an anthem in blue for us. And then Jace Cunning Castaway, which uh, we're going to be using the minus two to create blue illusions for crew costs overall if we can do more than that we're we're totally golden i mean this is basically a three mana bear with upside that's all we're looking for that's all we're looking for out of this card if we get upside great if our opponent attacks us and gains us a million life as a result great you know that kind of thing after that padim a little bit of long game here uh artifacts have hex proof so comes into play then we crew our uh, uh vehicles that our opponents were holding up removal for Oh, the way, you know, that kind of thing. But also this long game where we draw extra cards, maybe if our opponent's not playing a dedicated artifact deck. We're playing something closer to that, so therefore we're probably going to draw cards overall. You know what I mean there. Anyway, uh, after that, uh, Snow Covered Islands, so that we can uh, fuel Ascendant Spirit. Plus, we've got Baseless Haven for the same effect as the vehicles, being annoying and just really hard to manage and deal with. And so just that extra little piece and go from there and just at this timing that may be more awkward because then your opponent's like oh i have to deal with that vehicle on the vehicle's timing but what if they activate the snow land but i have to deal with the creatures what if they just don't crew at all <laughs> so we're, we're hitting all the angles we're probably we're trying to play similar to mardu vehicles where we're playing this beat down deck with some value tied in and we can seem to do it in one color so why not Experimental stuff, sure. I mean, 
we'll know the right cards in time, but let's play the games. Let's see how it goes and then go from there, figure out what's good, what's not, or get the idea, right? Anyway, see you in the games. All right, we're in, we're on the draw. This has got to be the most abysmal hand I've seen in my life. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is gotta be just straight up hot garbage. Um, not even remotely close to playable. Opponent, please, thank you. And this is much better. So uh, I guess throw away a land. So Fable Passage, sure. Our opponent, okay, they're going to be taking their time between plays, sure. I was wondering if this is going to be the player that's going to uh, be three seconds between each play. We'll find out. All right, Gearsmith Prodigy. So what we're looking at here... Silent Submersible without a plan. Core Blade Master is not helpful for us whatsoever. Okay, our opponent is extremely aggressive right now. I'm gonna make them have it. Prodigy in. Excuse me? I know it has double strike and it trades, but you know, all right. <laughs> Core Blade Master again. Um, bind the monster is interesting. We have to get that on to the thing pretty quick. Quick, quack, the. Play the illusion, cruise submersible. Jace can certainly be attacked by that thing. No big deal. Let's get in. Draw a card. Send it spirit. That gives us a potential crew. Potential. Hammer time can't handle this. Okay, we're in. We're on the play. Versus Conan. Well. Is this good enough for Arnold? We have a multitude of really sexy plays, I gotta say. We're totally keeping this. It has no interaction points, but man! Woohoo! Um, Gearsmith Prodigy still becomes a bear and a very solid swing on the play, obviously, so we'll do that. Kasima is a 3 3. Silent Submersible is long game. So we have to decide, based on our opponent's first land, what we are doing with Silent Submersible or the Omen Keel opponent's going to be playing something a little bit more on the uh, removal front. Okay. I'm going to... You know what? I'm just going to play the Omen Keel, then. Get in for two. We do have, if they remove Prodigy, we have Ascendant Spirit plus Silent Submersible next turn. Our opponent is playing Rakdos Skillgate. I just noticed that. I don't think it's relevant though. Dreadhorde Butcher. Card. Okay. And I think that uh, our uh, previous plan is great, actually. So we're going to do exactly that. We'll play Ascended Spirit. Crew. Send in. Get ourselves a mountain and throw away uh, Falmor Knight and Shock. So this is Zombies Tribal. That was a good mill. That tells us information we really want to know. We'll play Silent Submersible. So yes, I'm ignoring Dreadhorde Butcher as you may have noticed. So we have Padim next turn. Padim can crew the Omen Keel. That'll give us the ability to head in. Dreadhorde Butcher not attacking would be an interesting play, but they're going to attack with the Dreadhorde Butcher, sure. Our opponent's plan is... Ingress Rampage, sacrifice an artifact. We are keeping the Omen Keel around. Okay, I'd say we just drop down a deem and swing in. 
There it's seven. It matters. Oh, there seems to be a pile of things. Robber the Rich, Knight of the Evan Legion. This is just Rakdos' pile of cards. So now the Omen Kill is safe. Dreadhorde Butcher is probably considering blocking, which in case we have up and summon. Ascendant Spirit can certainly pump up. Sractos so Guildgate's generally a useless land at this time, but you know, we might be able to fit it in there if this game goes any longer. We will be drawing a card if Padim sticks around. Dreadhorde Butcher gets in. Sure. Murderous Rider comes down. We draw our extra card. We can bind the monster, which will lifelink the Murderous Rider, so unsummon is a strong consideration here. Now, let me see. Um, since we have Snow Mana to pump in, I'm going to start with Faceless Haven. Put that down. It's an untapped land anyway. So, how do we do this? We can play an Ascendant Spirit. Cruise the Omen Keel. Three, four, Five, six, seven. Easy. No problem. Okay. This was what I envisioned the deck would do, and it's doing it. All right. We're on the draw. We have no vehicles. We have Ascendant Spirit, Grimsmith Prodigy, which is not so hot at this time. Is this a good enough hand or is this weak? It's hard to say. Ascendant Spirit is a bit of a beefcake. So there's that. You know what? Let's give it a whirl. Let's try different aspects of the deck. Do we have to have a specific combination every single time? Well, we're going to find out. Ascendant Spirit. Is this Mono Blue Tempo? We can find the monster, by the way. Opponent, please join me. Thank you. Okay. Just do a regular swing in here. Opponent, please join me in this game! Another spirit. Counter. Find more cutthroat. Okay. And your Smith Prodigy. Which blocks the cutthroat quite nicely. At this time. Proponent, a little too scared to play magic. It's okay. Uh, we'll fire up one of these and uh, we're going to send these boys in here. Okay. We'll play Gearsmith Prodigy. Waiting for our opponent to react in a way that I, I deem is much better for us. We'll pump one of the Ascendant Spirits on end step. We can deal with Brimeborn Cutthroat as long as it doesn't cast two spells, otherwise jump block. Fine. Yeah. Alright. So our opponent's too scared to play Magic versus us, and that's pretty good for us, so... Uh, boop. And that's pretty good as well. So now we have interaction points that work. Swing them in. Take the damage. We will unsummon something if we don't like what's going on. Right now we're fine. So I got all the colored mana down because I want to make sure that everything, you know, perfect there. We'll get Faceless Haven down, that'll make things even worse for our opponent. Right now, they're kind of paralyzed by some fear of some sort here. We'll just pump the other Ascendant Spirit and uh, pass the turn to us. Oh look, it's us. I probably should have played the Faceless Haven after, but you never know what happens when it comes to the pumps here. We can still pump one. Is our opponent going to make a play? They are not. 
so we're like we're totally killing it here spectral sailor isn't doing a freaking thing we're pretty good here actually if they choose to draw a card brian Morgan cutthroat goes away Let's show them the meaning of tempo. Just give them more that they have to do. So if they were planning on, you know, doing something reasonable with it, well, too bad. You gonna unsummon me? Cunning Nightbinder? I don't even care. Oh, they're fearing counter spells. Okay. Find the monster. You see, it really doesn't matter that much. So, yeah, it's kind of whatever. Okay. Sure. Now how about a pair of freaking angels coming at your head? Is that singing some angel songs ringing in your head there? Your head might be ringing a little bit. Nightbonder at sorcery speed. We probably should just bind the monster. Um, it's going to be Spectral Sailor. It's the flyer. Just going to move it out of the way. I don't think our opponent's too happy. Mono blue vehicles beat mono blue tempo. You saw it here. <laughs> okay, so we played up against some decks that are a little bit fast and wiry, kind of like us, and you know, just decks that we want to go toe to toe with, or something like that. And yeah, it seems to go fine against those kind of decks. I mean, it plays in the similar vein to that and has tricks. It has the ability to be annoying just as well and get onto the board, have a board state first and then be able to kind of defend it. So it's got a couple Mono Blue Tempo elements, but the idea is that we're bigger than Mono Blue Tempo while still being that kind of Mono Blue Tempo-ish, kind of light. More, We're more beat down and less tricky. And we're trying to kind of back up our butts like massively back up our butts <laughs> and massively back up our butts man those are the big butts in this deck <laughs> so yeah we're, we're we're trying to make our, our creatures much larger as an overall scale and try to have just as fast a deck and kind of see if it goes from there as I said, swarm decks are a thing. When I tested out the deck, elves just absolutely destroyed me. Um, so, you know, some decks, they require a wrath for about 30 or so turns in a row. Once you've got that, then you're fine. Elves is one of those decks. So, you know, it is what it is. I feel that's, that's just bad matchup. So, uh, beyond that... Yeah, I think we're well positioned for control. That was another one of my test matchups where it was just, it was easy. It was so easy. And I feel like that we're in the same category here. The the, the uh, proper mid-range decks that we faced off or the aggro decks that we faced off, I'd say we're all right. I'd say we're right in line with those. So I'm happy with how the deck performed. And a lot of the cards felt like they were right at home. Like, this might be it. I think Kaldheim really made this deck actually somewhat playable. So I'm, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts.
cards that look like they're just absolutely the perfect fit. They're low curve, they're ready to beat down. Something I might have missed in that sense. Something to synergize. You know what I mean. Just all, all of the categories combined. Do, does it fit in and does it do better job? Obviously, the counter spells are a contention point for me. The removal spells, maybe a, some sideboard conditions. You know, I mean, if you want to go into the best of three territory, where would you go? So, interested in hearing your thoughts on this one. I really like what happened with this deck. Really feels good. Anyways, take care and see you later. Bye-bye.